I want to share with everybody today how to make a simple axe sheath. And I say simple axe sheath because we're not going to put a welt in it. We're just going to use some leather and some rivets and a tie-on type sheath that's very simplistic. This is great for tools that you're not going to be using all the time and not carrying and traversing around woods with a lot, such as hewing hatchets or splitting mauls, something that you just want to protect yourself from the blade. And that's really what the sheath is there for, is to protect you from getting hurt by that blade so we don't have an open blade around camp. So I like to make simple things for those type of tools because they're just in one location, they're not getting moved around. So I'm gonna zoom in, we're gonna start talking about how I actually lay the sheath out. First thing I like to do is lay my ax on the piece of leather and I will just lightly trace, now this is on the back side of the leather, what's gonna be inside the sheath. I'll just trace lightly around the edge of this ax so I have the layout of it. And it doesn't have to be real dark or anything like that. I'm just looking what it looks like there. The biggest thing you need to keep in mind when making a sheath is you're gonna to need to put this ax in and out. So if right now, I connected this line and made my sheath this size. I can't just slide my axe in. Even if I slid it this way, it's going to be a very, very tight fit along this top edge. Okay, it's probably not going to fit. So we need some extra room. So this is where a lot of people get it wrong, I think. They just right away decide they're going to make the whole thing bigger, and that's a mistake. What I like to tell people to do is decide how far back we want it to come and mark that. So I know I want my sheath to come about this far back on the blade, so I just mark that along my edge. Now, I can take this and just by sticking this in here and rotating, I can look at how high I need to make this back end so it fits. And in this case, by doing this, I know that I need about a half an inch above normal. So what I like to do is I know where my outline is, I'm gonna slide my whole ax up about a half an inch, trace it, and now, I know where my outline is, the, what I need. So when I slide this in, it's gonna fit in there and I'm gonna have a little bit of room. And I can actually bring that down, just looking at that. Eh, no, I'm pretty close, so I know I'm gonna be okay in there. I know how far back I wanna go, and we're gonna be fine. So I have my basic layout now. From this point, what I wanna do is I wanna add approximately a half inch, a secondary line around here. And I'm just gonna trace this out with my pencil, this doesn't have to be super exact. You wanna go ahead and measure it, you can. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. I'm not going to. So I'm just gonna trace out. Now the reason I'm going bigger with this is because I need somewhere for my rivets to fit. So I know once this goes in, I have about a half inch leeway for my rivets to fit in there. So at this point, I have the outline of my sheath. Okay, so there's three measurements, our ax, our ax clearance measurement, and that'll give us the inside dimension, and then a half inch around will give us our total sheath dimension. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece out. My piece is cut, I marked where the bottom is going to be. At this point, I don't wanna just lay this on here. What you wanna do is think about that bottom, and you're actually gonna flip this over, and now you're gonna trace your end this way. So I'm gonna trace this again, and I'm gonna cut out an identical matching piece. I have my two pieces, both my bottom ends are marked, so what I'm gonna do is lay these together. What I like to do is think about how my ax is gonna fit in here at this point, just assuming we have about a half inch all the way around for clearance. So what I wanna do is I wanna come back in this section because this is gonna be important when my ax slides in to hold that in place. The top is gonna to be open, the bottom is gonna have a dip in here. So by looking at that, I know I'm gonna to wanna to put a rivet here, here, and then basically just space them out accordingly. Here, 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 and here. So I just marked out where I want those rivets. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead, I actually have a hole punch with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna punch out my holes in my first piece and then transfer them over to my second piece. Holes punch, now what I'm gonna do is lay these two pieces back together and just go ahead and mark through here. This will give us a perfect transfer onto our other piece. 
and now I can punch out these holes. Our rivet holes are now punched. What I like to do is go ahead and I'm gonna punch two holes a little bit above the center line. So I eyeball this center line. I'm gonna punch a hole about here and about here and this is where our tie out is going to come through. So now that all my holes are punched and my tie out holes are punched, I can go ahead and set my rivets. One quick tip when you're gonna set your rivets, don't just set one, preset all of your rivets and that will hold your work together much better. So I'm gonna get my rivets out here and get them set in place. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my sheath, I'm gonna feed in a piece of leather. I'm gonna go in the back hole and out the front hole and just tie a simple overhand knot at this front section and then pull that back and that will lock that in place. I'm gonna look at the other side now and do the same exact thing. A good tip for this is just to point off at an angle your leather. It just works so much better that way. So how are we going? Oh, we're going in this one, in the back one, and then out the front hole like this. Again, we're gonna tie an overhand knot in there, very simple stuff. Just like that, pull it back, and now we have our tie out points for our sheath. All right, so we have our sheath, our simple sheath now completed. Now remember, when you put this in, the bottom's gonna go in first and get pushed down towards the bottom, and then the top's gonna get pushed in from there. So that's a good tight fit. Remember, leather is gonna loosen up. How I like to tie these then is I come around the back side with both just like that, and then I'll come underneath the front, and then I just put an overhand half hitch in the top, and that will hold it on. That's our simple axe sheath. That literally took me a little over 10 minutes only to do that, and that was with me stopping and starting and repositioning the camera, so this doesn't take long. And like I said, this sheath, there's nothing wrong with this. This isn't gonna damage your blade. Those small rivets aren't gonna damage your blade unless for some reason you take this and start to hammer this ax into wood. At that point, you'd probably just cut through the rivets, honestly. But it protects your ax and it gives you safety around camp. This was Dan Wolwak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Stay in the woods.